Um, I'm gonna do a makeup video vlog today. Um, I haven't done one in two days. <sighs> so, thought I should make one now. Um, I'm just gonna use this, um, Renola Cotton Round, and I'm gonna use a Clear Pore Neutrogena Astringent to cleanse my face and clear my pores and try to absorb some excess oil. So I'm going to first start with astringent. The other day I painted my nails with the um, CoverGirl XL, the new nail polish that they came out with. And this is what it looks like. <laughs> I found out that my favorite um, Uh, one type of my favorite um, CoverGirl lipstick, it's not like vegan, vegetarian, it has silk powder. <laughs> I was so upset. I was upset about that, but I have two colors of that one, which is the Lip Perfection. Um, the lip liner doesn't contain any silk powder, but the lipstick does, and it's... Um, the colors I have are Heavenly and Soulmate, and I really like them, and I'm not going to throw them away just because they're not vegan or vegetarian. I mean, I'm going to keep them. Maybe I'll just have to find another CoverGirl um, lip color, <laughs> vegan, vegetarian, maybe. CoverGirl isn't certified vegan, but they do use um, vegetable and synthetic um, sources first. And when their supplier runs out, they use um, um, animal products. But that's just because of their high demand and their national wide, nationwide, worldwide company. So. The products that I get, I hope they are made with vegetable and synthetic. Okay, so once I've toned and cleansed, whatever, I used my astringent. Um, I'm just going to do some simple makeup today. I'm going to use this um, CoverGirl BB Cream. Um, this is Broad, broad Spectrum excuse me, um, 21 Tinted Moisturizer and Sunscreen. and. Um, I like this. It's a multi-action BB cream and it won't clog pores, um, instantly improve skin's appearance, um, improve skin elasticity, so that's really good. So I'm just gonna put some on my finger like this. I'll start out with about that much. Just gonna dot it on my face. I guess I should work from the center, work my way down. So when it goes on, it feels really smooth. I like the feel of it. It doesn't feel oily. I believe it's oil free or It might contain mineral oil. Let's find one of my packages. It's a 10 in 1 instant skin enhancer. Sheer color, all day hydration. Won't clog pores. It doesn't say oil free, but there's no mineral oil in, like listed in the ingredients. So that's really good. I got these two new CoverGirl products. I want. Oh, I like the look of it. I got these two new CoverGirl products. I wanted to try out. Um, one is the CoverGirl Cheekers Natural Rose 148. 
And I also found out that the brushes in these CoverGirl containers, they're synthetic and um, P, P and G, Procter and Gamble, um, they have a lot of products that they sell in the drugstore and um, they package their products in um, like 100% um, recycled material. So that's really good. So this is like from recycled packaging and this has synthetic hairs um, but the um, the hairs that come on the packages they um, they're made with like pony hair something like that yeah like pony hair ponytail hair horse hair you know like little little horses yeah so those aren't synthetic. Um, I wish I could find my big mirror, but I guess I misplaced that. Let's see. It almost looks like I'm not really wearing anything. It makes my skin feel like it got a drink of water and some sunscreen. But it's not like the typical kind of sunscreen that you put on. Um, it's it's really nice. It feels like I just did something good for my skin. Let's say that. And um, I love, love, love the way I feel when I wash this BB cream off. Or like... Um, say like at the end of the day and I'm just washing my face um, or I'm at the gym and I'm in the shower and when I wash this off I feel like my skin feels really really good and I have nothing bad to say about this BB cream excuse me although I do wish it was like anti-blemish but maybe it is I don't know it's supposed to improve skin elasticity, <laughs> so I actually feel that um, at night or when I wash my face, and it just makes my face feel really, 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 really good, and I totally recommend this product. And the second product I picked up um, is this CoverGirl Cheekers Bronzer. This is in Copper Radiance 102, and I have Golden Tan. Um, and I just wanted to pick up this Copper Radiance color because I was really into bronzer and I noticed that the color it's um, really really matte and I wanted just a nice matte bronzer um, just so I wouldn't have the big shiny effect throughout the day so since I'm going to have um, a simple makeup day today I feel really exhausted. Um, I'm going to, let's see, should I do the bronzer? Yeah, I'll try this bronzer first. And I'm going to use the brush that comes with it because it's made from recycled material and synthetic. Um, synthetic hair. Oh my! My nail polish just chipped. I think it's just because I'm wearing a lot of coats of it. I put a ton of coats on here. Oh. Okay, well. I've never opened this before. <laughs> Sorry it's taking so long. Open this here. Okay, it's coming open. Okay. So this is what the packaging looks like. And it comes with this nifty little brush. It's eco-friendly and vegan, so... I'm just going to use this as an all-over bronzer or just like a bronzer to contour. So... I'm going to do the typical three motion, my forehead, my cheek area, my jawline, 
and here. Wow, looks like I already have a bit of color. My face looks a little bit more defined. I should blend it out more. And cheeks. Do the fishy face. And my jawline down here. This is where my big mirror will come in handy. Oh, I see it over there. I should go pick it up. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like this. And I'm going to go pick up the mirror. Oh, I found my concealer I was looking for. Okay. Oh, dear. I don't look like it. Okay. Found my mirror. Okay. So, this is what bronzer looks like. I'm just going to blend this in my face here. I'm going to try to sheer it out. It feels good on my face, kind of like I'm buffing my face. Um. I was interested in getting um, an angled brush, but I don't think I will because these are synthetic and I just want to start saving my money. So I already look like I have a little bit of color. When I was um, thinking about doing my video this morning, I was thinking, hmm, maybe I should have one side be golden tan and the other side I should put copper radiance. See what the difference is. So this is um, like really like a matte color here. And I'm just going to try to tap off some of that. And I'm going to try to go along the bridge of my nose here. You can see what I did. Just to try to give my nose, um, give my facial features a more slender effect. I like the color. Wow, I already have an all-over sun-kissed glow. I like the color it gives me on my nose. Wow, it's like a magical powder. It's really cool. <laughs> wow, that's really cool. See, I'm going to try a little bit more. Oh my lord. If you could hold on a minute, let me go get my phone. Hello? Ah! The listeners always call! Not always like automatic voice machines. It's like, hello, you're not even a real person. I don't understand why it costs so much. Okay, so that's shearing out a bit. And it looks pretty matte, I have to say. Turn off the slide so I can see a little more. It's a lot of glare. Try to turn off this thing. Let's see, can you see me better? A little bit. You could tell where I put the powder and this would kind of just be a really nice touch-up powder. 
during the day. I was thinking about lipsticks today and I thought maybe I should just like try to make my own lipstick. And I was thinking, well, I could use like um See, that lighting doesn't work out too well. Let me turn on the overhead light again. Ooh, yeah. oh. Okay. <clears throat> there. I'm back. Okay. So that's what that looks like. And it turned out pretty even. Let me try to blend that out with my finger. And this would be a really nice touch-up powder, like, throughout the day. I mean, it's just a soft um, bronzer, but it's, like, really nice. So, anyways, about, um, I was thinking about making lipstick, and I thought, oh, I could use CoverGirl um, blush or eyeshadows to make a lipstick, but I thought they have oat flower, and I'm kind of sensitive to oats sometimes, and... I don't think I should put that on my lips, so I was thinking I could use another um, blush color, but I was only thinking that because I wanted um, some matte lipstick, and I just really love cover girl, so those were just some ideas. So this is a trick I learned online. If you want to make your face look more framed, you just kind of add bronzer to like your under area, like under your chin, under your jawline, when it makes the face look a little more defined if you could see. Let's see. In the light, I look pretty dark already. I don't want to look like I'm wearing too much blush, I mean too much bronzer, or like I'm too overdone just because I'm having a relaxing day. So I still have some, um, I have powder like just kind of hanging loose over here. So I, I'm, I don't want to waste it, so I'm just going to pick it up with the brush. When I found out that the CoverGirl Lip Perfection had silk powder, I cried and I was really upset about it. But I looked online and NYX has some matte lipsticks. I like one called Spirit. Well, I know that it's cruelty free. I don't know if it's vegan or not or vegetarian, but I was also interested in the CoverGirl wet sticks too. Okay, so once I've picked up the powder that's excess, just kind of hanging out there. I'll just um, tuck the brush back in. Snap it back in place, put it in my little container, and next I'm going to use my other new product that I got. This is uh, CoverGirl Cheekers Blush in Natural Rose 148, and I've been wanting to try this for a really long time, and for some reason I just never got around to it, and it's like a, it's a light color, and it's pretty beautiful. And I just hope it'll look good on me because <laughs> the color is really adorable. And yeah. Okay, so once I got that open, I'm just going to open it. And this is what it'll look like. And. 
The packaging is made out of recycled material and has synthetic hair. I'm just going to use the brush. Comes with it. I'm going to sweep some powder on and I'm just going to dab my cheeks, the apples of my cheeks. Oh, this is a nice matte powder. So that's good. And I'm just going to pat this on the other side. I'm going to swirl this around. So yeah, about my lipsticks. I mean, the ones with the silk powder lip perfection, I'm not going to throw them away. I'm just going to keep them because I really don't throw things away. It's just not like me to throw something away. I'll probably just wear it. And I'll just keep on the hunt for some vegan vegetarian lipsticks. I really like matte lipsticks, so I'll be looking for those, or maybe I'll just make my own or something. So that's what the blush looks like, if you can see. <laughs> and wow this color wow it gives me a nice subtle hint of color like just natural cheeks like natural like kind of pinky cheeks that's pretty cool let me turn off this light here maybe you can see better See me a little bit better. This light here. Oh, it's a bit better. So, yeah. So that looks like there. See about maybe putting a little more on. I don't want to look like I'm wearing too much blush. So. So yesterday I was chatting with CoverGirl online and I, I I did request if they could make a vegan lipstick. So, let's see, what are the ingredients in here? Talc, mica, zinc stearate, and some other stuff. Yeah. Um, next I'll just do a little mascara. Maybe I should do my eyeshadow first. That's a cheaper's blush. Eyeshadow. Another cheeker's blush. And Golden Sunrise. I've never worn this color. This is an eye enhancer. And this is my blue sapphire eye enhancer from CoverGirl. And I'll do a bit of eyeliner.
<laughs> That's what that looks like. For some reason, I just feel better when I use eyeliner. That's just me. <laughs> um, next, I'll use an eyeshadow. And the eyeshadow I'll use is... Let's see. Cheekers. Bronzer, my golden sunrise, eyebrow powder. I do need some eyebrow powder. I'm going to use this Milani. This is a vegan eyebrow powder. And I'm going to first use. I'll use this light color first to see what it'll make my eyes look like here. I mean my eyebrows. I just wanted to try to give the highlighted effect. Wow, my eyebrows are kind of like tingly. <laughs> like tingling. So I just used brow color one. Tapping it in, get some product on there, and just now I'm wisping it across my eyebrows. <laughs> so that's a nice, um subtle brown color, but it looks really light for my eyebrows, so I'm going to use this darker brow color, too. Gently wisp over my eyebrows. Do the same thing again with the other eyebrow. And gently wisp the brush in sweeping motions, gentle sweeping motions. across my eyebrows. Okay, so I guess it looks kind of natural, but it looks a little bit too light to be my natural eyebrow. It looks like I had a eyebrow color. <laughs> so I'm going to look for my black um, CoverGirl eyebrow kit, eyebrow and eye maker. Here they are. Oh, that's my second set. Midnight Brown. La 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 la. Eye enhancers. I have a pink eye enhancer here. Oh, I should have used my physician's formula color today. Oh well. I meant my cream concealer. There's my brown eye maker, so I'm just going to use this one that I have used. I'm just going to wisp it across my eyebrows very gently. And just gently sweep across my whole entire eyebrow in soft sweeping motions. Okay. And I'll just put this back in the container, put it back in my CoverGirl box. And next I'm going to use this eye enhancer. Um, this is a knockout pink. And I just want to use a nice, soft, 
pink color today. So I'm going to put some on my eyebrow. I mean, I wand thingy here. I'm just going to close my eye. Lightly blend it over my eyelid. And it gives me a subtle hint of color. You can do the same thing with the other eye. Up about that much color. And I'm just going to go over my eyelid like this. Go for a little more, a little more on this other side here. Bring the color up a little bit. And I look like I have a nice, soft, subtle hint of color, which is good. my eyebrows. I'm just going to blend with my finger on the other side of my finger. <laughs> and let's see, do you feel a little special? I'll just um go over my cheeks with um, this CoverGirl Natural Glow Color. Looks like this. Reminds me of kind of the desert or like a beach because it's like soft and sandy and sparkly. <laughs> so I'm going to use this um, recycled and synthetic brush. The brush made from recycled material. I'm just going to sweep this across here and lot. If you could see, it has a little bit of shimmer. And I'm just going to pat the apples of my cheeks and blend. And we'll do the same thing, get a little more product and blend and blend down to my jawline and just swirling and down to my jawline. So this is just like a fun way to feel good. In the morning, if you just kind of wake up and feel like you're in a bad mood or something, this is a good pick me up. And if you're a guy, maybe you could do the same thing, but I don't know. I don't know if your parents would see you. I don't know. <laughs> maybe they'll get mad or I don't know. For guys, if you can't do this, I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe if you're not sure, you should ask your parents. Or better yet, don't. Or do whatever you want, whatever. Okay. 
so it looks like I have a lot of color on like it doesn't it's not like subtle okay so I'm just gonna soften up this look or actually it'll actually make the look more um, dramatic but I'm just gonna use this um, mascara um, first I'll use my eyelash curler and hold this Hold this for a little bit and release. So it made my eyes look um, kind of like more lifted up, if you could see. Yeah, let me get closer so you can see. Um, so if the camera catches it, um, you could see that it kind of lifted my eyelashes up, and I'm just going to coat my lashes. Like this. Just going to. So that's what that looks like. And it looks girly with, um, it looks ladylike if I just do my top lashes. So I'm going to shape my eyelashes on the bottom a bit here. So. That's what that looks like. And I didn't line the bottom of my lashes with eyeliner. And I got these two colors together, this Golden Sunrise and Kaboom Kelly, because I thought it would be really fun. I thought it would just remind me of a tree. And I just have really fun thinking about natural things, doing my makeup. And I got this um, Sapphire Sparkle just because it's blue and blue is a really cool color. And when I was a little girl, my favorite color was turquoise. So, <laughs> um, I guess to finish up my look, I'll move on to lip liner and I'll go start doing something. I came over with a really, really good idea for um, collecting like vegan vegetarian recipes or even um, if you see like a really amazing recipe that you would really like to try as a vegan or vegetarian recipe, you can just convert the animal product or the dairy product into a non-dairy or non-animal based product. So you could replace an animal product with like tofu, tempeh, um, have products like soy chorizo, you could do anything like that. And um, what I was going to do is I got this notebook for like 99 cents and um, I'm just gonna cut out newspaper um, food articles that I've been saving. Like, there's one on parsley, and there's like some other good ones, like um, what is it, like sauerkraut or something. Um, so, I have like tons of food section papers that I'm gonna cut out and Uh, 
um, I'm going to tape them and glue them into um, my notebook paper. And it's just like line notebook and I have bought sticky notes. I got sticky notes to um, I'm just mattifying my lips here before I put on the lip gloss. So this is a good way to use um, a lipstick too if you just want like a nice matte lipstick. So maybe I don't even need to go out and buy lipstick. I'll just use my CoverGirl lip liner. <laughs> and I've learned tricks about like powdering your lips or like using concealer um, before you use lipstick, but I haven't really tried that. Well, I've tried it once, but I didn't do it today. So, yeah, um, that was just my idea of um, converting or collecting vegan vegetarian recipes. Um, so, yeah, you just, like, get a notebook. Um, you cut out, like, a newspaper recipe or a newspaper article about, like, a certain food, like parsley or maybe, like, Halloween, they'll have one about pumpkins or something or squash. Um, so then you can just like cut them out and glue them into a notebook and I just got like different colored sticky notes for like a dollar and I could just decorate them and I got markers for really cheap that were on sale so I can just like draw a border around it to make it look really interesting and it's just a really ex um, inexpensive way to collect recipes and be um, into kind of um, recipe collecting and just being artful and just enjoying your everyday vegan vegetarian lifestyle. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Okay, thanks. Bye. Have a wonderful day. See you next time.